Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to combine multiple text files uh, that means files with the txt extension uh, into only one so uh, I've got um, a directory here and I've got 30 th 13 uh, text files and I want to combine them into um, a file called um, result.txt so I'm going to show you different methods and the first one is the most um, uh, direct and correct so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, the command line so start um, I've got command prompt here or I can go to run and write cmd command and I'm, I'll be here so the current working directory is this and I want to go to here you can see that this is a C um, partition and this is the E so first of all I have to change partition so I write the letter of the partition followed by colon and then I'm going to copy paste copy and then f first of all I have to say CD change directory so from E I'm going to change directory space towards this one and to do that uh, I cannot use control V to paste so I have to do right click paste so here I am this is the same directory as this one and I'm going to tell the command prompt copy any file uh, that is a txt uh, file that has a txt um, extension sorry space and then this is the name uh, the result the name of the resulting uh, of the output file so I'm gonna name it result you can name it whatever you want text I'm going to just enter and you've got the list of the files and then you've got the result here you can see it so the 13 of them are 1.0504 megabytes and you can see this is the same thing of course um, it takes um, some time to do all that to go from C to E and then copy paste and then do all that and write copy so if you'd like you can use a bat file so instead of writing all that you can just write it in a file so combine I called it combined text file you can find it in the description and download it so this is what you can write the same thing copy the asterisk means anything from 0 to um, 400 or whatever uh, characters followed by dot text and this is the name of the resulting file you can as I can uh, as I wrote here you can just call it whatever you want so okay so you just save it and then all you have to do is to put this file in any directory so then you just double click and it's going to find by its own all the text files in that directory and do what it needs to do as you can see I've got the results again so instead of uh, having absolute paths that means write E zoom or Dropbox blah 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 all you need to do is sorry this and given that I don't give the path here it means that this is an, a relative path so it means search in the same directory as this bad file so I can see I can find a new example so let's find a new directory and then um, so I've got a few um, text files here I'm going to close this and then I'm going to take the bat file here and just double click and I've got the result 10 megabytes and this is 
yep, 10 megabytes. So you can see that it works um, in every in any directory. So another method you can use is um, let's go again to the command prompt. And we're going to find again um, our directory, copy, and then cd, right click, paste. And then we are going to create a loop. A loops are very common in programming, they are the basis of programming. So, this is what we're going to say. So, for f in um, asterisk.txt do type blah 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 that means first of all you're going to create a list of all the text files and then you've got a variable variable um, f so each text each sorry file is going to um, take this um, so the variable is, is going to have different values um, um, so you've got 13 you've got a list of 13 file names so 13 times this is what is going to happen so it's going to take the content of the text file and it is going to append it send it to this file so let's see how it works gonna copy and then paste and this is what I'm gonna happen so as you can see it did the it tells you that it did type blah 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 so instead of writing type 01 text this type 0 whatever so it is going to do it on its own and then as you can see here that's the problem that we just found um, is that it's going to take 0, 01, 0, 02, 13 and then it is going to take itself the result not itself but the result text it is going to combine it with itself so we're gonna have sorry the 13 files combined into the result text and then it's going to take result text and um, take the whole thing and um, copy it in itself so instead of having 1.04 megabytes we're gonna have uh, sorry because that was already done um, there you go so we've got 2 megabytes 2.08 so in order to tell um, MS DOSA okay I've got I only need the 13 files and not this one as well in the loop I can play around so I can do something like this when I say here asterisk it means that it could be um, a text file containing zero, which is not possible, one, two, three, four, um, hundred characters. It could be a letter, um, a number, whatever. So what I, I can say is take all the text files that contain only two characters. The problem with asterisk is that asterisk means from zero to infinity or, or more or less. So instead of saying asterisk, I can use, I'm um, sorry, this, a question mark, it, it means zero or one. So two question marks could be um, zero, one or two. Um, so there you go. And now I've got, I think I forgot to, yep, sorry. and I've got 1.04 so there you go you've got the same result again you can create a, um, a batch file so dot bat file and do the same thing so I'm going to um, put the both versions of the of the solution um, into in the description part of this video so you can find them and download them if you'd like 